From February 14 to February 27, 2003, a few weeks after the broadcast of the documentary, Living with Michael Jackson. The Los Angeles Department of Child and Family Services conducted a preliminary investigation of Jackson and Arvizo. In a confidential report based on interviews with the Arvizos, which leaked to the media, child welfare officials stated that they believed that accusations of illicit conduct were unfounded. District Attorney Tom Snedden who had been after Jackson, since 1993, after the first allegation were settled out of court, had reopened the closed investigation on Jackson, which had began in 1993 after the first allegations were leveled against him. In July and August he interviewed Arvizo along with his father, mother and brother. In November, Arvizo told police that Jackson had acted inappropriately towards him several times between February and March of 2003, according to Janet Arvizo, the boy's mother, Jackson had held the family captive at Neverland. Michael Jackson's home Neverland Ranch would then be searched by the police with a search warrant. Jackson and his three children were in Las Vegas, where Jackson was shooting a music video for his single, One More Chance, set to accompany the release of his number one's compilation album. For One More Chance, Michael Jackson and his team set up in Comex Studios in Las Vegas. A set that was a recreation of the inside of a mini auditorium awaited them. The shooting schedule was pre-arranged. Nick Brandt began by filming wide shots, before concentrating on closer shots in which Michael Jackson danced. However, Jackson was arrested on November 20. He was released an hour later after posting a $3 million bond. Shortly after the arrest, Jackson issued a statement saying the claims were quote, predicated on a big lie. In an interview with the news program 60 Minutes, Jackson said the police had mistreated him and complained of a dislocated shoulder. He reaffirmed his innocence and said that he was determined not to settle out of court as he had done in 1993. A month later Jackson would be charged on seven counts and was now set to await trial.